This video is about the topic image calculation. How long does the calculation take and how accurate is it? And this is simply the case here. You have the fastest calculation if you use the static wireframe representation, which you can see here well. The disadvantage here is that no concealment calculation is made and it is difficult to identify where the front and the rear are. To make the identification of front and rear easier, a so-called hidden surface determination needs to be made. And this is calculated, for example, by use of the wireframe with dim edges option, which by the way can be found on the press right mouse button as well. Thereby a hidden surface calculation is made. Annex knows where the back and front area are. The edges beyond are dimmed or hidden if we use the wireframe with hidden edges mode. In the standard mode, shaded with edges, which we have available, the hidden edges are not displayed. The following things change calculation wise. We get a color, which is calculated, and a shading in contrast to the wireframe. Shading means that light rays that point towards the surface are reflected. The flatter the light points towards the surface, the less it gets reflected. That's why the outer areas of our geometries are somewhat darker than the front side. For example, in the case of the sphere or in case of the cylinder. This type of calculation is for cut still fast so that we can deal with it very well. It is quite possible that the shaded mode of a large assembly consumes so much energy that we have to resort here or there to the static wireframe mode. This is the case, for example, if we set a scene and just want to align the camera, because the shading is not important here. Then we can switch to handle this matter a little smoother. Now, in the modeling mode, there is an extension, another calculation step, namely when materials are assigned. That means that a mirroring reflection will be added to the diffuse reflection. In NX12, this option can be found via few in older versions via render, and it's called true shading. Maybe you already have experience with it. I'll turn it on once. We now get a true shading group offered, which includes a few tools. There's no material yet, but our surfaces are reflecting mirror wise. They now reflect diffus and mirror wise, meaning there's a new material property being added. Now we have various options here, for example, to fade in and out the floor and adjust the light or adjust the background. But we also have the true shading editor, which has all the options included at once. Here you can first of all define a global material, for example, chrome. And then you can see a mirroring reflection. And for this reflection, a so-called environment image is used. And it's a standard image being used at the moment. And while global reflections image, we now have the possibility to select our own environment image. There's an environment picture especially for metals. And you can see there is no direct picture mirrored, but any light source. That makes sense if you do not want to have a specific image displayed on your product surfaces. In order to demonstrate this on the material plastic, I will color an area explicitly. I do that by setting the selection filters on face here. Now I select all faces and take the red plastic material. If I change the picture now, then you can see that this plastic is also reflective. And thereby this environment image is being used for the reflection simulation.